Hello, it's Wednesday, July 10th, 2019, and as of this recording, I'm still depressed, but I'm not dead. So, Dad is still in rehab. Um, Mom and Dad are well over the age of 65, so they are on uh, Medicare for insurance here in the United States. Um, and that's their their primary insurance, I believe. They may still have some Blue Cross, um, but I don't know if that's still part of my dad's retirement or not. Um, so anyway, um, you know, Medicare is beneficial, but it's not a end-all be-all for insurance in the U.S. Um, and so dad is, um, he definitely has some um, cognitive deficiencies now and um, physical deficiencies um, you know he's an old guy he's been laying in a bed for the better part of a month now and part of this rehab is um, physical rehab seems to be what they're mostly focusing on and you know I, I only know so much what I hear from my mom what I hear from my brother um, and it seems like they often have slightly different stories about what's going on so it's kind of hard to parse through it all um so what's going on now is that my dad has had a bad bad knees for a good while and he can't really bend his right knee and you know, my brother says that he thinks he's fine and so he's not so willing to cooperate with the physical therapists, um, which I, I guess it doesn't make sense to me. But, you know, if, if he's in some sort of diminished capacity, it, why would it make sense to me, I suppose? Um, so because of that, um, there's this um, clause. I don't know what it is, a policy with Medicare that patients need to be um, moving towards some form, some level of recovery uh, in a specified amount of time that is, was specified by the admitting doctor or the prescribing doctor. I'm not really sure how, what the terminology is for moving from um, the ICU at the hospital to the stroke unit at the hospital to a rehab facility. Um, Anyway, because it sounds like because he's he's not making progress now, um, because he's refusing, um, and again, I, I don't know at all, uh, that Medicare may stop paying for his rehab. Um, and so that's got me all, all kind of wiggied out and worrying about that. And, um, you know, with mom and, and all that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Kind of a downer of a story. So uh, let's just get on with the show. So vacation time is upon me. I've got one day of work tomorrow. Um, I have an un undetermined amount of time. And then I am on vacation. And Nora will be on vacation after tomorrow. The kids are, well, they're on summer vacation. Um and so we're going on this Disney extravaganza that I've mentioned a couple times. And, um, you know, it, it should be a really good time. And I'm looking forward to it, I suppose, as much as I do. Um, at the same time, I am not looking forward to it. Um, I was talking with Dave today on the phone. And we, you know, we were talking about this vacation a little bit. And... You know, I was thinking about how I tend to try to be the peacemaker in vacation situations where, you know, sometimes tensions can run high and, and um, you know, it, for an extended amount of time that we'll be away, which is, uh, you know, we leave Saturday, we come back um, Sunday or Monday the following week. So that's whatever that is, nine days, um, nine days, maybe 10 days, something like that. Um, you know, so people can get kind of worn out. Um, you know, it's fun. You're having a good time, but we're expending a lot of energy and, you know, you just have to miss your bed and miss the comforts of home and 
maybe I'm speaking more of myself um, than other people. Um, but I try to, you know, smooth those things out and I try to be that calm voice of reason. Um, additionally, with, with my two youngest coming along, I am um, not so much playing tour guide, but I, it's, it, it will be important to me that they're enjoying their time on this vacation. And with my girls, that can be a little tricky. They, um, they're just so, so nice and sweet, um, to everybody, but their own sisters. <laughs> um, so they won't really speak out if things aren't going, you know, the way they would like them to, or they're not enjoying themselves as much as, as maybe they should, or could be able to. Um, so I'm going to, you know, be hyper vigilant about that and, really putting my own relaxation and enjoyment on hold in order to make sure that all the kids are having a good time, that Nora's having a good time, um, and just all that. Uh, so it, in addition to me missing my, my, you know, comforts of a creature of habit, which I've mentioned before, and, you know, like just getting my caffeinated soda every morning is a big part of my day and you know I, I guess I'll, there'll be caffeinated soda there but there maybe won't be the um you know I'd be hard pressed to find some alone time um just to relax and, and be quiet right um so I'm a little anxious about that I suppose and you know I, I mean all of it like I was telling Dave is probably much ado about nothing. I mean, the kids are older. They're more capable of, you know, seeking out their own enjoyment and fun. Um, and, you know, I'm sure it'll just be fine, but there's still that big nagging part of me that worries. And, uh, you know, I'm freaking out about, you know, being on a boat for four days, five days, five nights, four days, five nights, something like that. Um, and being out of out of the loop with what's going on with my dad and really being out of, um, out of touch, out of, out of, out of whatever, um, unreachable is what I'm getting at. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of anxious about that and I need to spend some time Friday figuring out how my brother can get a hold of me. I'm sure, you know, Disney is fantastic. And if, if he needs to get a message to me, they'll, you know, he calls somebody and somebody, you know, radios the boat or whatever this, this plan is. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of freaking out about that. Um, so, you know, big, fantastic, wonderful Disney vacation. Um, and I'm kind of not relaxed about it whatsoever. So we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Um, there's that. And, uh, I, I I know I promised you guys an episode with a lot more meat to it, and I'm trying. Um, it just occurred to me today that I won't be putting an episode out for, you know, the next week and a half, almost two weeks probably, and I wanted to get something out. I'm still going to try to get Nora to hop on a microphone with me maybe tomorrow night, um, in which case I put out, you know, I will sk schedule the release of that podcast Um but we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I want, mm, you know, I guess, how am I doing? I am doing mostly good. I took my um, depression inventory test today on my smartphone that I've talked about before that's seemingly no longer available, but there are many, many, many kind of PHQ-9-esque tests that, um, well, not really diagnostic are kind of, I think a good way to kind of monitor your ups and downs and see if you've made progress. You know, if you're, you know, listed as severely depressed to just moderately depressed, well, that's, you know, it, again, not, not diagnostic, but it's, it's encouraging. Um, and so I scored that and I was a little higher than I was last time. Um, which I think is probably normal with the amount of stress that's going on with, 
you know, between my dad and the move and, you know, the stress I've already talked about with the vacation coming up. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm doing still better than I was a year ago. Um, and it's kind of interesting. I've been getting, I've been getting some emails lately. Um, a couple of new listeners. I know I mentioned Alex from, you know, on the last episode and, um, excuse me, I should have edited that out, but I'm, I didn't. Um, I got another email from Jasmine. We've messaged back and forth a little bit. Um, and it's just really nice to get these kind of emails. Um, and it makes me feel good about what I'm doing. And, but it also reminds me, um, it kind of grounds me into, you know, what this journey is all about, because, you know, as, as people, I mean, from, I guess speaking for myself only, I tend to, um, I'm not good at living in the now, but I'm good at accepting the now as just the way life is. And so I'm not, you know, just like when I'm really depressed, I have a hard time remembering what it's like to not be really depressed. Um, when I'm not so, you know, majorly, massively depressed and down, um, I kind of, it's hard for me to, to really key in on what that felt like. And I mean, I know, I know how low it was. I know the thoughts I was having, but you know, me and my, I can't feel things. I can't, um, yeah, I don't know. Broken record. Hey, JP over and over again. Um, I got an email from Poe also, which was a nice email. Um, and you know, I, I wish, you know, I get these, these emails and I message with, with people I've conversed with for a while. And, um, some people kind of drop out a little bit, um, you know, and it makes me, it makes me feel good, I guess, about what I'm doing when I get a message that says, Hey, you really speak to me or what you said really makes sense to me. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I just want to kind of, I wish, I wish I could heal everybody. Right. Um, I'm, I'm working on healing myself. I don't know how well that's going to go. Um, Speaking of that, therapy got canceled again this week, so I, I think I'm gonna have to look for a new therapist, and I don't want to because I think that Kara and I are getting to a good place um, where she's challenging me, and I'm accepting the challenge. Um, but I mean, this will be the fourth time that she's canceled on me, and you know, I just I gotta I gotta look out for me, I guess. Um, so yeah, where am I going with all this? I don't, I don't know. Um, I was listening to, um, the, uh, my friend Jody's podcast, um, raw and open and, um, I forget who she was talking to. Uh, boy, this is really not going so well. Um, <laughs> um, Geez, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so scatterbrained right now. Um, but anyway, so she had her guest on that she was interviewing, and they were talking about um, the suicidal times. Um, and her guest kept referring to, um, you know, that 20 minutes. 20 minutes is how long... Um, Hang on. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so I've pulled my head out of my butt enough and uh, looked this up. So Jody's podcast is, of course, Mental Health Raw and Open. And her guest was Ann Moss Rogers, um, who you can go to annmossrogers.com. And, um, you know, so they were talking about this, um, you know, super depressive time frame where... Um, so, you know, 20 minutes, they kept saying 20 minutes and that if you can talk someone through it, that, you know, it's usually around 20 minutes and, and here's Nora coming in with a box. Awesome. 
<laughs> no, don't be sorry. I'm just going to pause for a second. So the scatteredness continues on. Uh, Nora says hi, everybody. Um, so I was thinking about my own experiences with, um, you know, suicidal planning and suicidal times, moments. And, um, you know, it just didn't, it didn't ring true with me. And I, I know it's true um, to a certain extent that, you know, if you can just get someone talking that it's, it's not that long that you need to get them talking before they, the, the, the suicidal thoughts really abate and that they'll be okay. Um, you know, short term. Okay. You know, obviously, you know, whatever, you know, um, but I was thinking about back in January, 2015 and it wasn't 20 minutes for me. It was, it was the whole stinking day. Um, you know, from the, the moment I got up to, you know, I remember it being dark when I was, you know, crushing up pills sitting in my car. Um, so, you know, Michigan winter. So, you know, it was dark by six o'clock. Um, but still, you know, it wasn't 20 minutes. And I wonder if I had reached out and talked to somebody or if someone had known and reached out to me if it would pass in some amount of time I, I don't know because I feel like I was so focused on doing that of, of taking my own life that I don't know that I could have been talked down from it um, you know, and it, again, it stayed with me all stinking day. And, you know, I, I, there's a lot about that day I don't remember, but, um, you know, I'm prone to, um, not, uh, following through with ideas and thoughts that I have, um, or, you know, even planning, you know, if I want to, you know, I mean, it, common places like often I'll get the urge like hey I want to go see a movie today and you know 10 minutes later I've I've kind of fallen through on that um things like that so I come up with an idea of something I want to do and it doesn't take me long to decide that no that's not something I want to do or I'm just I'm just not going to do it you know I, I come up with reasons why I shouldn't be doing that um and so I, I think you know I would have talked myself out of it in the course of, you know, 10 hours throughout the day. And it's obvious I didn't do that, regardless of how much I remember. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, I wonder, you know, I'm always trying to place myself in the pantheon of, you know, depressives, you know, depressed folks dealing with depression. And I just wonder, am I even abnormal as it comes to depression? Um, I guess that's not fair to say. I mean, we're not abnormal. Um, to be abnormal means there must be a normal. And clearly there is no set of people in the world who are normal. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, folks. Um, I think I'm going to leave it with that. And, um, just so everybody who does listen to this podcast, uh, again, it is July the 10th and, um, in a couple of days we leave for our vacation. So I will be out of pocket as they say. And, uh, so if you email me, I'm going to set up a vacation responder, I think for email, but if you text me, I, you know, I won't get text messages once we're on the cruise. Um, so please don't think I'm ignoring you. Um, I'll be getting back to everybody as soon as I am, uh, you know, back home, maybe, maybe as we're driving, as I'm being a passenger from Florida up here to North Carolina, I can get some time to respond to people, but, uh, yeah, I'm not ignoring you. I adore you all. And thank you so much for listening to the show. Uh, everybody be safe and be well.